Oh boy. All right. So we're back again. Michael Zoll here one more time doing a video tutorial series for West Side Electronic Music. This is part five of our WISE to Unity integration series. Doing our sound design in WISE to integrate into our Unity project. And this is pretty much part two of our footsteps um, project for our Viking Village map. And, you know, last video we set up, you know, our footsteps to change with our terrain types and be randomized and sound all pretty. But we still have some problems uh, going on with those footsteps that we haven't addressed yet. I'm going to show you what they are right now. And they have to do with the jumping and landing sounds, or lack thereof. So, number one, I jump up and down. There's no jumping sound. No jumping footstep or landing step, you know, there's just no sound at all. And, you know, our triggers are working okay and everything. But when I jump, the footsteps continue to play. And that is not good. So we're going to work on fixing that. And the first thing we're going to do is go to our first person controller script. If you remember in our first video, we edited this script to remove the instances of uh, the Unity game engine from the footstep and have it reference the audio kinetic sound engine instead. And that happened right down here. Oh, a little further up. Oh, where the heck did it go? Here we go. This is the only line of code that we've posted in so far. Uh, pasted in so far. Wow, it's getting late. And uh, AK Sound Engine post event. It's going to reference our footstep game object coming from WISE to play our the footstep sounds that we, uh, that we specify. So but the problem is we haven't done anything to fix the jump and land sound references to the audio engine within Unity. We need to replace those as well. And uh, here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we located our play jump sound reference, which has the references to our Unity sound engine right here, these audio source.clip and audio source.play references. So we want to come up here. We don't want this to jump down to here and do this. We want it to go straight to referencing the audio, audio kinetic sound engine. So let me copy this line from here. And we're going to do it wrong first, just to show you um, what that'll sound like if we just have it reference the, um, uh, the game objects as, as we have them set up now uh, for the jumping sound. And we'll do it for the landing sound as well, which is right up here. We'll just set it to reference the footstep game object um, and see how that sounds. So we'll save it. Go back to our Unity project, and we'll play. And it will fix one portion of the problem that we have, and that is now we have jumping and landing footsteps. But it hasn't fixed the second part of it, uh, which is it added those jumping and landing footstep sounds, but it did not stop the footsteps from playing while we're in midair. And yeah, that's not good. So. We're going to do something to fix that. Both uh, you know, within Unity and WISE, the first thing we're going to do is go back to our script again one more time. And instead of just referencing the same footstep game object, we're going to be creating new objects in uh, WISE. We're going to create a landing and a jump game object that'll be referenced. We'll go ahead and that's all we need to do within our script for now. The rest of it we're going to be handling in wise. So we can save that, close mono develop if we want. And yeah, we're going to go over to our wise project now and check out a few things. 
All right, so we're going to pop back into our WISE project here. In our first person controller script, we made references to a jump and a landing WISE game object. So we're going to need to create those game objects or events here in WISE. So we'll go ahead and do that. Jump, j jump, and the landing. And what we're going to do is, for these events, we'll go back to our event editor. And we have our jump event selected here. And what do we want it to do? We want it to mute something. We want it to mute our footstep switch container. That's a new type of event action that we haven't worked with yet. So there's a whole bunch, but. Uh, we're going to work with mute and unmute for the time being. Um, so, and same thing, but in reverse for the landing, as we want to unmute the footsteps switch container. So, this kind of works. It certainly works for stopping the footsteps playing while we're in midair, but you'll hear a couple more problems that arose. Uh, from doing it this way. So we're going to generate our sound banks and go test this out in Unity. I will make sure that we add our jump and landing events to our footstep sound bank or else nothing's going to happen. We generate, close, save our project, move back over into Unity and let's test this out. Okay, so it did mute our um, our footsteps while we're in midair. Uh, but a, a, a couple more problems have risen up. Have arisen. So first off, you can hear that if there is even a footstep playing when we jump, it gets abruptly muted, which doesn't sound natural at all. And there's no actual footstep sound playing when we jump. You know, uh, indicating that, like, you know, we kind of stutter stepped and, uh, you know, it took a leap, you know. So we're going to need to fix that. And uh, I'll show you how. So the problem we have is that, you know, these, the jump and landing events are muting our footsteps switch container. So if we want to have a footstep play, right when we hit the spacebar to jump, we can't reference this container anymore because it's being muted. So what are we going to do? We're going to make a copy of it. We're going to make two copies of it. Paste and paste. And I'm going to name, uh, rename this footsteps jump. And the next one footsteps landing there's a couple nice things about this first I can gain up the volume just a bit with the uh, each one of these so I'll maybe make the jumping footstep a couple DB louder than just a regular old one and make the thud of the landing you know even a little bit louder Oh, and there was another, uh, I'm going to import an audio file here too that I was using for my uh, jump. You know, I was kind of doing like one of those quake deals where you, you know, add like the hur, hur kind of sounds when you, uh, when you jump. So I'm going to do that. So let me find these samples that I made here. First, we'll open up the import audio files and... Uh, Go find my Pro Tools project. There we go. And I'm going to bring my jump sound effects back in. I deleted them before because I didn't want to use them, uh, you know, in my regular footsteps uh, switch container. Only want this to be in jump. So now we have um, the jump random container, and we're just going to slide that right here into our jump. So now, let's 
go and uh, go back to our design view, our design layout, and uh, let's get this on dirt. And ah, yes, I need to add the jump event to each one of these um, uh, objects uh, for the switches. So each one of these is going to get a jump as well. There we go. Jumping. More jumping. Jumping. And jumping in the deep water as well. So now we can preview each one of these. Uh, back to our jump switch container. Let's bring down the, uh, the jumping sound just a smidge and uh, preview it some more. Exciting. Uh, grass, you know, all pretty much the same. So in any case, uh, we're going to change up our events. Uh, we're going to add one thing to each one of them. So uh, we'll go to our jump, and we do still want it to mute our footsteps, but not until we're going to get it to play our, whoa. We want it to play first our, let's just remove this action, our jump event. We want to have play our footsteps jump switch container. And as it does that, so it's going to play a single footstep sound from the footsteps jump container, and it's going to mute the footsteps in the regular footsteps container. So you want to add mute and drag our footsteps container in there. <clears throat> and then we're going to do a similar process for our landing. I want to remove this action. And uh, we'll drag our footsteps landing in as a play event. And then we're going to, at the same time, unmute the footsteps switch container. So, um, looks like we're good to go on that. So. We will go back to our sound bank manager. Um, our events are still in our footstep sound bank, so we can just go ahead and generate. They will update. And now we should have a footstep sound play with each jumping and landing and have it mute the footsteps switch container so that we don't hear the footsteps while we're in midair. And let's see if that's the case. Beautiful thing. All right. I'm going to do one more thing here. On occasion, I can hear a kind of a uh, a double step when I'm landing. So I'm going to add a slight delay onto one of our events that we're one of our actions that we have going on in our wise event and so with our landing uh, we'll go back to our design layout and we're gonna uh, put a slight delay on unmuting these footsteps so this is done in seconds so maybe a tenth of a second uh, we can add that delay on there and we will uh, that's all we need to do go back to our Sound bank manager, uh, enter, back to our sound bank manager, generate, updates our footstep sound bank one more time, and play test it in Unity. And we should be all set. There you go. All right, so you can hear, you know, delaying that the unmuting of the footstep switch container made it so that, you know, we don't have uh, kind of the double footstep playing upon landing. Sounds much more natural. 
and we have solved the the jumping problem that we had with uh with our footsteps so that's going to be it for this video thanks again for watching uh next time the next video in the series is going to be on setting up a reverb zone so we'll get our well we'll be using our footstep sounds again we won't be changing them in particular but we'll get them to have some reverberation playing when we're inside a uh you know a structure that would you know have some reverberant qualities to it a little castle that we'll create so come on back for uh setting up some reverb and uh we'll see you then